today we'll be talking about potentiometers. But before that, we'll speak about resistors. So this is a simple resistor. It has two terminals like this and the resistance between these two terminals is constant. It is shown with this symbol and here this is a 330 ohm resistor. So we can use this resistance in scenarios we'll be needing a constant 330 ohm resistance. But what if I need some other resistance value under 330 ohms, say somewhere between 0 to 330 ohms, then this resistance cannot be used. In those cases we'll be using a potentiometer like this one. So using this 1 kilo ohm potentiometer I can get any value which I want like say for example I need resistance value of uh, 100 ohms I can get it 150 ohms 470 ohms 800 ohms or even the maximum value which is 1 kilo so I can get any value like this one using this potentiometer so how this potentiometer works is it consists of a resistive part having a wiper at a certain position like this one depending on the position of this wiper the resistive value changes say for example this is a resistive path and the resistive between the two ends is about 1 kilo ohm or say 1000 ohms where I'll be considering the resistance based on the leftmost pin and the wiper if I keep the wiper here the resistance will be 0 ohms and if I keep it at this end it will be 1000 ohms or 1 kilo ohm and if I keep it somewhere around center it will be close to 500 ohms if you consider a potentiometer like this it will have 3 pins shown like this so it's 1 and then 2 and 3 so let's mark the pins as 1 2 3 if you consider this diagram here then the first end will be 1 and the other end will be 3 and the second pin will be the wiper pin the resistance between first and third pins will always be constant and it won't be changing so whatever you can between 1 and 3 will have a constant resistance but if you want a variable resistance then you can either use 1 and 2 pins or 2 and 3 pins either of this pair will give you a variable resistance the only difference would be that 1 and 2 will give you increasing resistance in clockwise while 2 and 3 will give you decreasing resistance in clockwise turning off spindle. Now let's open up this potentiometer to see what's inside. So the potentiometer looks like this after removing the back cap. If you see closely here, when I turn this spindle, there is a metal plate tracing the resistive path between the first and third pins. And this metal plate is connected to the center pin, that is the second pin. A potentiometer is represented like this. Now let's see how to connect two potentiometers in series using these two. Most of the people do a mistake by connecting the potentiometers using first and third pins, like this. This will give them a constant resistance and the resistance won't change when the spindle is turned. The correct way of connecting two potentiometers in series is using first and second pins of both the potentiometers connected in alternate fashion like this or second pin and the third pin connected in alternate fashion. We should use same set of pins for both the potentiometers so that depending on the direction of the spindle the resistance of both the potentiometers will either increase or decrease consistently. For parallel connection of potentiometers also follow similar pattern that is connect same set of pins for both the potentiometers. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Please check them out at electronics made easy Kadar at YouTube. Till then, I'll see you in my next video.